Hey there, kamusta? By popular demand by students and viewers, succeeding videos will be using both Filipino and English for discussions. In this lesson, ang pag-aaralan natin ay tungkol pa din sa accuracy and precision. We will continue where we left off. Specifically, after this clip, you will be able to identify absolute uncertainty and relative uncertainty in measurements, apply absolute uncertainty and relative uncertainty in solving problems, and recognize the use of graphs in inferring relationship of variables. Dahil ang measurement ay wala din kasiguraduhan base sa mga nakaraang video, we have set out accuracy and precision as our determinant in closing the gap. Absolute uncertainty shows the magnitude of error. Ibig sabihin, gaano kalawak ang sakop ng measured value. For example, absolute uncertainty may be observed when looking at the resistance of a wire, where the absolute uncertainty is about 0.05 ohms. Ibig sabihin, ang resistance ng wire ay maaring mas mababa ng 0.05 ohms mula sa measured resistance na 35 ohms o di kaya mas matas pa ng hanggang 0.05 ohms mula sa value na nakuha which proves an extended measurement from the acquired measure. Absolute uncertainty can be obtained by using the formula. Which brings us to relative uncertainty. And relative uncertainty shows the magnitude of error relative to the correct value. We can solve the percent uncertainty by using the equation shown. Remember, that when solving for these values, you should always take note of the identity of a given measure dahil nga hinahanap natin ang pinaka-precise at accurate na measurement. Based on uncertainty in taking the best estimate in measure, there are other ways of getting close with this objective. First one, we can increase trials and get the best estimate by calculating for the mean average. Well, sometimes the best way is just to get the value based on the highest value and the lowest value from the acquired measure. This value will be used in narrowing the measurement towards accuracy and precision. The half of range is the uncertainty of measurement, while the mean of the acquired measure is the value representing the whole process. Least count serves as a basis for the absolute uncertainty. This varies by measurement as it is the smallest value from a measuring device. Using acquired measures, we can easily interpret conclusions, and the best way in inferring conclusions is by representing it by a graph. Using it involves variables and careful observations. Independent variables are the variables that may be changed in an experiment, while dependent variables directly take an impact or effect from the independent variable. Using measurements represented by graphs, x-axis represents independent variable, while dependent variable lies on the y-axis. With it, we can infer relationships and make conclusions based on the gathered data. This is it for this clip. You learned about absolute uncertainty and relative uncertainty in measurements. Applying absolute uncertainty and relative uncertainty in solving problems and the use of graphs in inferring relationship of variables. Thanks for watching and see you again on the next one.